My name is uh, Yamkela Lizo Nchakaza. I am from Queenstown, now known as Komani. I actually started with uh, LLB in 2015 at the University of the Free State and I did that for about a year and a half until I realized if I'm not pursuing music, I am going to just forfeit my life. I've got a single mother, so my mother used, yeah man, every kind of tactic she could to keep me in law, but over the long run she realized it's, it's not what, what was for me, and music was really for me. So her reaction was quite intense at the beginning, but I knew it would change because I was very, very adamant on excelling at what I claimed was my thing. no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away I do play other instruments, also a little bit of piano. Um, I don't know if my voice counts as an instrument, but in the music department it does, so I play the voice. You know, I, sometimes I think to myself, why me? Because music is, music is like, it's like oxygen, you know. I think for those who can see it, for me, at a very young age, I knew that I was, I was not going to do anything else. Wonder every day, lose myself in time. I don't particularly believe in, in genres. I feel like they're a very limiting thing to sort of be in. I admittedly do lean towards soul, R&B, you know, singer-songwriter kinds of things. I try and keep it very simple, just the guitar and the vocals. Meet me at the lake tonight. Do you ever take the dime? Look at me, baby. I see heaven in your eyes. Dream window. You know, it took, as with most of my music, it took maybe a day or so to write that. And I think it came from, I like to fiddle on the guitar. And most times, what I write comes to me through that guitar, so I don't have any preconceived ideas. I, I kind of go around and play things that make sense or don't make sense. And then I stumbled upon that little intro. And I was like, okay, I feel a little heavy as well. I mean, life as well. I mean, life was just crazy. The beginning of this year, last year as well for COVID. So I found myself spending a lot of time in my room. I found myself spending a lot of time alone. A few things happened in life that I, I, that I felt like I had to, to release. And that is basically the core crux of my music. Most of it, I sometimes think it's too sad, but it's, it's my therapy. You know, some people go see therapists for what they're going through. I, I have to put it in a song. And I guess it just worked like that. I've never... Stop.